Hey, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Bioshock 2. And uh, the last episode, we killed one big daddy and harvested one little sister. In this episode, we killed two big daddies and harvested two little sisters. It's crazy. We got two things done, in, or two big daddies done in one episode. That's unheard of. I thought we were not going to get anything done this episode, which. Actually, I recorded this episode, and for some reason, my capture card didn't uh, record it for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I think it was because. My capture card's always really far away from my computer and like my of like my laptop and I usually have my laptop on my lap so I feel when I move it I think when I move it around that like the plug comes undone when I'm recording so or like it like shifts and I might mess up the recordingness. I don't know. But I had to redo this and it was actually better that I redid it because the first time I had I only got I only killed one uh big daddy and I was wandering around because I didn't know where anything else was. Like I didn't know where the other big daddy was, so I guess it's kind of better that uh, I had to redo it. But uh, just as a note here, um, all the big daddies in this area are in a specific place in this area. So they're not like, well, they're walking around, but they're in a certain location. So if you want to use this as a preference to find them, go ahead. Um, the uh, first one, obviously, was in the last episode, so uh, go check that out. Um, and then I'll show you the placements of the last two here. Um, when you kill the uh, second one, uh, uh, you know that gold arrow that shows you where to go and what to do. That one that pops up to show you where the third one is, so you really shouldn't have any problems uh, finding the third one. But uh, just just letting you know, uh, the second one is in not this door because I think I go through this door and it's not it. Uh, I'm not sure. All right, but you know, first we got to kill kill that person. Yeah, it's in the door I uh, just uh, that was behind me. It's not in the store. The store leads you back to the way uh, you got into Dionysus Park. So um, go back the other way to the door. Um, also, in this episode, we find out what uh, Stanley Fool did that was like so bad, or you know how he fits into the story. We find that out, so that's kind of cool. Um, we're actually about to find that out uh, because we. Um, Call it. We kill a big daddy up here, and uh, here's here's a party hat. Um, yeah, see, there's some wine and party. It was, it was a crazy party down here. Uh, up there, or up here, I should say. Uh, there was there's something in that water that you get stuck on. Because both times I recorded, I got stuck on something. So I'm not check that out. But up here there's an audio log, there's a tonic. Uh, yeah, the tonic is just is just gonna carry more Eve or something. Or Eve hypers give you more Eve or something like that. Something to do with Eve that I didn't read because I'm you know, lazy like that. Uh, here's the second big daddy. You know, nothing special. They're all uh, bouncers, by the way. If you don't know what a bouncer is, it's a uh, type of big daddy that has the drill. And uh, right here I lay down some mini turrets because uh, I thought that would be good help. And then I just, uh, you know, start. Start eating away at his health, and the uh, turrets do do a lot uh, of damage. Uh, I, I love these uh, phosphorus bucks they put into the shotgun. They're really, really, really cool. Uh, they um, they like stick into the person that you shot them at, and they um, just go. They like uh, they don't blow up, but they like set them on fire. Just yeah, that's cool. And uh, right here is uh, where we find out about um, oh, excuse me, uh, Stanley Pool. And uh, I'll I'll tell you I'll explain the uh, details once Eleanor starts talking because she uh, she talks to you, uh, every time after you harvest a little sister in this area and we really need to see a gatherer's garden because we have 800 for the atom that's ridiculous all right here uh, basically the thing is that uh, Eleanor was uh, not a little sister at this point but uh, she told uh, Lamb what uh, Stanley was doing in the park and uh, Stanley got mad put. Uh, Eleanor in a or in an orphanage, and basically he's the reason why Eleanor turned into a little sister. So it's like, oh my god, it's, it's craziness. So that's how he fits into the storyline. Um, again, uh, I don't remember how uh, what you call it, um, Grace uh, plays into the storyline. The first one that you got to pick whether you killed her or left her alive. If I'm correct, and I don't, I don't know if this is 100% uh, correct or not. It's um, I think she was uh, 
Eleanor's caretaker when uh, she was in the orphanage, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. But, um, that would be my only guess at this point. But, uh, I don't know. I might uh, look it up and let you guys know just for, uh, yeah, later episodes. Just because I want to give you guys the uh, full storyline. The storyline is awesome. So, yeah, that's fun. And uh, here we have, uh, you know, another splicer hacking a... We're attempting to hack a chart. And I fail at this one. I don't know why. And I, I attempted to buy it out, but for some reason I thought buy, it, buy out was the Y button, so I jumped out of them. And I'm, tr I'm trying to think of what... Uh, I would use the Y one for in that situation, like, like for certain games, like if I play a game uh, and like a certain button is jump, and then I go and play another game. I, uh, the first game I played, I, I I go for that button to jump. So yeah, I don't know. I, I'm I'm trying to figure out what game could possibly like I would use the Y button for something like that. I I have no idea. But you know, that's just me. And here we have a theater uh, setting, and uh, you know this, this big daddy kills us like once or twice. And uh, this spider spider, he was attacking uh, the big daddy, but it wasn't hitting him, so it wasn't doing any damage. And, this Houdini, and then the Houdini spider jumped in and started attacking the uh, got attacking the uh, blah, 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 blah. spider spider. So you know they started fighting, and then we started fighting the big daddy. Uh, here I use the rocket uh, spear ammo. It's a uh, it's all right uh, against big daddies. It um, does uh, uh, what you got. It does the most damage when it explodes, obviously, to the big daddies. Uh, if you shoot it at regular splicers, I believe that the rocket like propels them, you know, somewhere. So that's cool. And uh, but yeah, the uh, that they're not too effective on the big daddies. I want. Um, well, they're 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 better than the regular spears. So if you have them. And uh, it's your only ammo, or your only weapon, because that's the only uh, weapon you have ammo for. Uh, I highly suggest using them, you know, only if it's your only alternative. Um, if you have something else, definitely use that. But uh, here I start using proximity mines, but uh, he kills me. But uh, when we spawn back, I just um, throw a, tarot, a mini turret out and um, just call, uh, attack him, and then the mini turret kills him. And I don't know why I decided to research him because I really haven't done a lot of that in this let's play. I would do more if I was like um, showing you everything in Bioshock. Um, I'm like, like my friend calls it FCing. Like doing absolutely everything, showing you everything, but I'm not. I'm just mainly doing a walkthrough. Um, I might do uh, one, I, I, I won't do an I, I won't do an FC for this game, but other games I let's play, I'll do an FC for, but we're running out of time, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, bye.